How do you convert units, you say? Using conversion factors, of course. A conversion factor is a number that has two different units that allows you to go from one unit to the next. And of course, the metric system is used as a conversion factor. All right, I have a trick for you that helps you remember the metric system, specifically using a mnemonic device. The device is kittens have dreams drinking cold milk. Meow. Looking here, we see the most common units used. I also wanna make a note that 10 to the zero power is just our base. We'll get into that later in the video. 10 to the zero just means that it's one. Anything raised to the zero power is one. How to remember this? Notice how everything, every exponent is going down by one. So all you have to do is subtract by one, starting with our kilo. So three minus one gives us two, two minus one gives us our deca, and so on and so forth. This is how you remember the typical units used for the metric system. For a more extended version of the metric system, notice that we can go ahead and just add by three. Leaving off at that kilo, that 10 to the third, by adding three, it goes up every single time, and that's how you can go ahead and remember the extended version. Now, for milli, we instead add a negative three. So the top one, you add a positive three, and the bottom half, you add a negative three. To avoid any sort of guessing or the confusion of multiplying or dividing by a thousand, help me please, what do I do? Here's a trick for you. You want to go ahead and place the 10 to some sort of exponent with the base unit. The base unit is our grams, our meters, or our liters. Notice that this is really just the one with one letter. Next, you want to go ahead and place the one with the different unit. By different unit, I mean kilograms, centimeters, milliliters. The other different factor that we can go ahead and see is that the base unit only has one letter. The different unit has two letters. For example, the 10 to the third goes with our base unit, which is our grams. And the one goes with the different unit, which in this case is kilograms. Same thing goes with the 10 to the negative second. Our other base unit is meters. And the one goes with our different unit, which is centimeters. Let's go ahead and practice a few problems together. How many microliters are in 1.5 liters? Our game plan here is going from liters to microliters. Our base unit is the liters and our different unit is the microliters. So our base unit will have that 10 to some sort of power and the micro will have the one. Our proper setup for conversions is we wanna go ahead and put the same unit across from each other. The reason is because we will cancel out the unit. Next, you wanna go ahead and put your different unit or your desired unit on top because that is what you are looking for. In this case, our given is 1.5 liters, so we want to go ahead and start with that. Next, our same unit then goes across from each other, so our liters with our liters. These then would cancel, and like I mentioned before, our base unit is liters, so we'll place that 10 to the some sort of power, in this case it's negative 6, and our different unit is microliters, placing the 1 there. Next, you multiply straight across and divide by 10 to the negative 6, which gives you 1.5 times 10 to the 6, microliters. It's time to throw in two conversion factors. How many centimeters are in 7.6 nanometers? Our plan is going from nanometers, then to meters, then to centimeters. You cannot just connect nanometers to centimeters. You need some sort of bridge, which is meters, to connect both units together. Our setup will then look something like this, where we have our same unit, which is in this case our nanometers, across from each other so they can cancel. Next, we'll get to meters. Those two units will then be across from each other so they can cancel. And our last unit on top is what we're looking for, which is centimeters. So our setup will look like this. We're gonna go ahead and start with our given, which is 7.6 nanometers. We wanna go ahead and place the nanometers across from each other. Notice that we will have that one going with our different unit, which in this case is nanometers. Next, it, we're gonna go to our meters, which is our base unit, and we'll have that 10 to the negative ninth on top. Next part will be that our nanometers will cancel and our meters will also cancel because we wanna go ahead and place them across from each other. So our meters still being our base unit, 10 to the negative second will be there, our meters would cancel, and we are left with centimeters. 
We want to then go ahead and multiply straight across and divide by 10 to the negative second. Our final answer is 7.6 times 10 to the negative seventh centimeters. Go ahead and try these problems to really lock in what you just learned. How'd you do? Do you feel like you need some more practice? If so, check the description box below. There's a link with practice problems and step-by-step -step answers. Make sure you like this video if you learned something and subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this one. Remember, I am here to help you pass chemistry. So leave a comment below letting me know what you need help with and I'll see you next time.